Okay, I've taken out my valves. Valves are there. Um, originally, I just wanted to port it out more, and I got about half a mil uh, to a mil on each one. And this is the second time I've ported this, so I've still got to polish it up a bit. But I've taken about three mil off there to suit my car carburetor intake. Now. I want to do some. I want to do some cans on this $600 bike, and I thought hmm, it's maybe not really worth to do cans on a $600 bike. Um, so far, I'm trying to jack up the power 30% without spending a cent on it. Now, I thought putting some cams in. Now, what I've done is I've checked up some stats on uh, on the internet and what type of cams go into these really cheap bikes in these 250s um, and I've checked up some stats and I've done some research and I've heard always get your cans ground it's cheaper now I thought look at this size of this cam I'm gonna get this thing ground probably cost me a hundred bucks and order a new one off the internet is 60 70 bucks now I thought just get a new one now I thought ah, I'm gonna experiment because it's a cheap bike and see how I'm gonna do now I want to grind it myself um, I haven't yet put it in the bike but I'm pretty confident that this will work um, now how do you grind off a cam and therefore it's bigger I always was confused with this but did a bit of research just a tad there's not too much on this on the internet um, what you do is how it works is, anyways, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm I'm not a mechanic or anything, I'm just someone that wants to muck around and have some fun. You got the height here, like so. You take the, the, the height of the cam, or on there, you, I'll do it on the picture, you take the height of the cam, or the lob, and then the width of it, and you subtract the width here by the height. And then that'll give you what the height of the lift is. And what I mean is, as the cam's spinning around, stupid, well, as the cam's spinning around in circles, the cam's just spinning around, and the lifter that are these that open and close the valves, that sits on this round bit around here, around that section there. And if it wasn't for this section up here, sorry, if it wasn't for this section up here, the valves would just stay continuously closed. So the the lifters spin around on this circle here, but when it gets to this egg-shaped section, it opens up, and that's the amount of lift you get on the lifters. How much these valves from in these valve sections pop out now? Now, so how they do it is, how they grind these cams and they're bigger, is they take this section down here and grind all of this section off here. And that's actually making it smaller. And, and straight away when I saw this, I figured it out. But until I saw that they actually ground this off on YouTube videos, grinding, you take this section off, I thought, hmm, that makes it smaller still. How does it make it bigger? And then I realized, bingo, bango, what happens is this section is smaller, so you you uh, adjust these lifters, so you've got the valve clearance. Valve clearance, you'll do a bit of Googling on that, and you find out what valve clearance. But it's a small little gap in between this section here. Now, you adjust this so it's more closer to the thing, after to the lobe. Uh, lob, whatever they call it. <laughs> you adjust it so it's more closer. So when it's more closer here, when it gets to this section, it's actually, this section is more bigger for here as well. So therefore, say if you take one mil off this section, it will actually, this section here technically will be one mil bigger. So actually have one mil more, uh, the valves will open one mil more bigger also technically it would be more open around this section and this section just slightly now well that's how you do valve grinding and that's how they become bigger uh, the bigger the valves the more stronger springs you'll need because I've only taken about half a mil off 
Uh, no, I've taken about... Uh, I've written it down how much. I've measured it all up. I've taken measurements from here and here and the original height. And because I've gotten the original height here and the original width on these sides here, I've subtracted them from the heights that I've been getting so I can still maintain a, a nice circle around this section here. Around this section here. So original heights minus the heights that you're getting and work out the amounts that you'd been taking off here and here to keep that as a nice circle because the valve will uh, bounce up and down on or the valve yeah not the valve the the lifters will uh, bounce around on here or the lifter arms will bounce around here and here and you don't want that so well I've done this on my cam well, I wouldn't do it on a Porsche like every other video I've said um, I'm trying to get this original 250 engine, uh, what was producing about 16 horsepower, to produce somewhere around the the 28 horse out of this. Now I've shaved the head down. Every, even with the cams, because the valves will be opening up bigger and and uh, different durations of the piston going up and down, you'll need to check the valve clearances after here. Uh, just check my other videos how to check valve clearances. Oh well, this should work. That's how you grind a cam. Well, I, oh, well, I've used this uh, circular bench grinder, and I've just put it on there and gone around. Oops, sorry, gone around there. You have to get one decently small for these cams because they're tiny little lubes, lobs. Can someone please write on the comments what these are called? I keep <laughs> pronouncing them wrong. Uh, if anyone watches these videos, please comment on how to get better results out of these uh, 250 uh, motors. I'd like to hear other results and I can test it out on my bike. Now, I don't want to spend a cent on it and see how much power I can actually get out of these bikes. That's it. Cool. Oh, and these valve compressor, universal valve compressor tools. Hopeless. Just managed to get my valves out of there, out of this head. Now... Also, uh, if you need bigger valves, uh, stronger valves, check up the stats on the internet on what sizing you need and if you need bigger valves. But I'm going to do, I'm going to experiment here. I don't need bigger valves. I can live with the standard valves that I've got. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put a washer in there and to see if it uh, grind it so it fits in perfect and snugly. Not too big so it doesn't jump out of those little of the little uh, groove that it's got there for the valves and hopefully that'll give it a little bit more uh, spring in the springs um, it's going to hit the valves more harder up against the the against the valve seals I know um, but like I said I'm trying to experiment with these little 250s and how, how uh, cheap I can get them uh, also, because I really struggled to get these out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compress them in a in a vise and try and cable time, and then put them back in and then cut the cable ties. That I think might be a little bit more easier than how I got them out. Anyways, watch my other videos. I'm sure I'll have more about these stupid cheap engines. So far, having a lot of fun though.